play the air horn. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I I won't, I can't make any hard, hard promises, but I'll say that an air horn is one of the lowest on my priority ever. We'll just, we'll just say it that, that way. But like, one of the very lowest possible priorities out there is the air horn on this channel. This is a tricky one, guys. This is a tricky match. I'm not looking forward to it, kind of, actually. Aldo, subscribing through February. Dear Lord, that's optimistic. <laughs> no, I'll still be doing this in February, as far as I know. I hope I will. So, guys, interesting match today. My opponent, I thought, was going to uh, auto-deploy. So, uh, it was... I deployed, and I was real sleepy when I did. So I kept my three Galactic Legends and Darth Revan on defense promise. But then I put some weird teams down, and one of them, I was so sleepy, I, I legitimately don't remember placing it. Like, I am so confused as to why I placed Treya. Like... No memory of it at all. Trey is just on defense for the first time in probably over a year on this account. And she doesn't know why. I don't know why either. I don't have answers, guys. I, I just don't have answer. Facing a dude named Dan Dejarin, which is... <laughs> it's pretty funny, Mando. He's, he's clearly gone all in. He's like the lesser known brother of Din Dejarin. It's like his parents had two kids, and one of them, they, like, towed out into the war zone and, like, pretended to be afraid and, like, traumatized him. And that's the guy who went on to become the Mando. And Dan is, like, the guy who just stayed at home and was just, like, safe and happy his whole life. And his parents, he doesn't, we didn't, we don't know where his, where Din Dejarin's parents are. They raised him. They ra They just went home and raised Dan. Like, they didn't want the other guy. So... I don't know, this guy probably grew up in a nice, warm home. Didn't have trauma about droids or anything. Didn't feel like he needed to wear a mask until COVID hit his planet a while later. You know, it's a whole, there's a whole story behind it. But that being said, Dan was the family accountant, exactly. <laughs> Space COVID. Hey, it's a thing. <laughs> I don't know. All right, guys, so, so here's the thing about this match. My opponent has a double the relics I do, relic sevens. I have like 21 or something like that. He has 43, I think. Uh, he has more relic eights than I do. He has half of the mods that I do as well. Like literally, I have 70 plus 20 mods. He has less than 35 plus 20 mods. So I beat him in the mod game for sure. Uh, he beats me really hard on the on the fleet uh, fleet. I'm, I'm saying fleet, but because I'm looking at Jedi Knight Anakin, um, he beats me really hard on the relic game though, like like double. I also have 70 more Zetas than him, 71 in fact. All right, guys, let's see, let's see it, let's see what he's got. So we actually cleared my front zone pretty nicely. Um. He done good. He got a... I don't know why I went in, then out, and then it... Well, that was... Mort's a, that's a joke Mort would like. He got a 60 on one of these and a 56 on the other. So I don't know which one. So, um... Anyways, we had Ray in the front. We have Kylo in the back. And, um... You know, at the risk of totally warning him off, I did change a few things, guys. I, I mod remodded my Red Trooper. Uh, so he's Relic 7, he's been 7 for a little bit, but the new cool thing is to put lots of health on Sith Trooper, on Red Trooper. So that's what I did, he has almost no extra offense. Yeah, look at how pitiful his offense is, but it's tough to kill him, man. Really high health is really tough to kill on Red Trooper, especially if you're doing, well, anything you're doing. Um, the other thing that's pretty decent here. It's not ideal, because I've been putting tenacity on c characters like crazy. I also put a bunch of tenacity on him. Ideally, he would be at 200, but can't quite do that. The reason you want tenacity on Hux is to make it so that he, uh, when he gets hit with a um, an efflux by Jedi Master Revan, or Revan, gosh, 
Jedi Master Luke, he can avoid that ability block. Or at least, like, not get ability blocked consistently. So it's it's tough to tough to manage this team, tough to deal with it. Okay, guys, here's the zone that's baffling me. So I intended to put Nice Sisters down. Remember, guys, I thought he was going to auto-deploy. I was pretty sure. After, he only had two hours left. He only has 500k lifetime banners. And, uh, like, even though he had placed a lot before, I... I was, I don't know, I just wasn't sure. So I placed Nice Sisters on purpose. I, I did that. Um, I, I was normally like, this is the General Skywalker space to place them, but I put I put Nice Sisters down just so I'd have one more tool against auto-deploy because you guys know how wretched auto-deploy is. It's, it's awful. The one that doesn't make sense, I meant to put Grievous down. Grievous would have been way better than like just random Treya. I, I am so baffled, guys. Like... Literally just, I even told someone, I'm like, yeah, my Grievous is, get, you know, the Grievous is on defense this time, it'll hopefully does good, blah, blah, blah. But, like, <laughs> I don't see Grievous. <laughs> I see Treya, randomly? Okay. So, I mean, the good thing about Treya is she does tend to steal some banners sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. Alright, and then we have Padme with uh, Ahsoka, with the blue meanie in there. Here's the thing though, guys. My, my Mothma team has undergone a huge transformation. Um, everyone has at least 100 uh, tenacity now. Here's the way it works. With her as the lead, you get everyone, you take 8% of their combined... Uh, all these stats, but tenacity is one of them. So, so yeah, he has 102 tenacity. So he'll be 150 starting tenacity. Everyone else will be considerably higher. Kara and K2 are both at 130 base. So, the idea being, it's going to be tough for them to land debuffs for a little bit. They ramp it up from Grievous's, from Grievous's lead, but we should maybe be able to weather the initial barrage and take him down. So I think we're gonna try Mothma, even though my opponent is probably got all four Galactic Legends, we probably can't afford to fail. It's going to be high stakes today. I think it's just gonna have to be high stakes. All right, let's see what we've got, folks. There's no Newt on this team, so let's reduce all their turn meters for fun. B2 is gonna go here pretty soon, though. And now we can just go at him. How about you? And such. We'll summon our guy. We'll just keep going. Just keep going, guys. We'll put, we can put days on him. Oh, we could try to put days, but fail. There's always that option. Wow, we are taking a lot of turns here, folks. Okay, good. Droidica squandered his, his thing. Uh-oh. Damn it all, are you gonna heal? Oh, we healed him! No! Oh, jeez, guys, and now we don't have a bill- Uh-oh. I see it happening again, folks. I hope not, but it might. Okay, we got the buff immunity on him. Now we gotta kill B1 before they start getting a million turns, guys. Oh, they have a ton of buff. Oh, man. Guys, I am going to be so sad here. Uh -oh, okay, so Kara's gone. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, man. Okay, I get, we have to kill B1 here. Tenacity isn't working, guys. This tenacity is not working the way I want it to. Yeah, so if we hit here... Right now, we might get enough... B2 might get enough turns. They might get enough turns at... Droidica is definitely going to go crazy, though, here. If we do this, B1 might get a turn, or we might get a turn, because K2 is already at the... You guys think? You think just kill B1 here? Maybe, guys. I mean, at least we get a, a kill, right? Oh, wow, he didn't kill anyone. Oh, 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 here's the death. Okay, all right, well... 
Well, here's there's all the deaths, damn it all. Um, all right, we summoned one person back, and it's the worthless scout. He always is the one that comes back. Maybe that's just the thing. I don't know, but we got to get rid of, got to get rid of this, this uh, Droidica here, or this uh, whatever his name is, B two, if we can. Just keep healing, guys. Pretend like it's 3v3, folks. That's all we gotta do, right? Pretend like it's 3v3 right now. Oh, dear lord. There goes... There goes K2. I don't know, guys. I thought tenacity was gonna work. I think we're screwed, but we gotta keep trying here at least, right? Do we hit Magna Guard now? Can hit Droidica. Should I just stun Droidica? Should we just try to maybe we could stun Grievous here? Let's try to just stun Grievous. No, oh, it didn't work. Damn it all. All right, well, we can promote our friend at least. That all that won't do any good. Please don't kill our scout, please. No! Ugh. Well, guys, once again. Once again, folks. Just don't know what to do. I do not know. I'm so frustrated by that. Okay, so, we're gonna taunt, that'll give him Frenzy. Now, under Aura Lead, we just have to do uh, any action. Uh, so that means we call an assist here, and everyone does an action. Django did two, because he double tapped. So we were at 60 already. Now, let's focus on Basti here. We have our contract, and immediately disintegrate Revan here. Now, we have enough turn meter here. I think we're just going to double tap with Django. We can taunt again. And uh, let's just take her out. Nice. Now, hopefully, we can. Oh, cool. We can stun HK now because HK, because Revan's gone. And now, let's see. So, Mando does have the buffs he needs. He's not that close to his contract, I guess, but. Um, yeah, we'll kill, we'll kill HK, and then we'll all struggle for, for a little bit on, here, let's see, oh, how does this, let's see. Each time Mandalorian scores, scores a critical hit while buffed, reduce the cooldowns, okay. Well, we'll see. I don't know, maybe we shouldn't be trying to get our, uh, trying to get our, con or trying to get this kill super quickly, you know? Because Malak is going to be a huge pain now. Give everyone buffs. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, he's tenacious. This is a tenacious Malak, so might not be able. We might just be able to nuke him here. Let's just do it, guys. We don't need another disintegrate. Sweet. All right. Oh, we didn't have the Zetas on Malak. That's right, I noticed that at one point. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. No Zetas on Malak actually does make that quite a bit easier, apparently. Look at that, he's attacked, guys. Look at that, he failed one. Vindication, folks. He failed one, thank God. <laughs> Jedi training Ray would work, and I don't need Ray for any of the teams up top. And on the bottom, we do have Troopers and Sith Eternal for anything in the back. So let's... Let's use resistance. I think this is a pretty high percentage win here, folks. I haven't really ever done it, but we I think we have enough damage here that we sh which should just mow them down pretty quick. And we have some banner recovery. Of course, uh, Droidica could make things a little interesting here. Um, let's just put him in timeout for a second. Um, we'll give this to BB-8 for now, just we wanted to be doing specials here, guys. Alright, so we got the kill. Good, okay, so hopefully this is the last time he can move. That That's the hope. We're going to do our 
grenade of healing right now, actually, because I want to make sure that it, it might heal Ray here. Uh, that we might get some banner recovery. Doesn't look like it. Uh, we're still just going to kill him, though. Okay, 35. High percentage, not great banners, but I'll, I'm okay with that. Nothing was going to be wonderful banners there. See what's in the back here. Oh, interesting. Jedi Luke with Jedi. How fast is Shock T? Let's see it. 304. Not too fast. I don't know. We could use troopers here, probably. 270. Alright, so we give this to Dark Trooper. Um, let's see. They're not going to hit me back this time, at least. Does this give anyone turn meter, though? That's the question. I should have thought about that. I don't know if this gives anyone turn meter. We could just do a basic and then everyone else. Let's see. Yeah, it'll give Old Ben and Shock. Those are the two thing, guys I was thinking of. Let's just use a basic here. Okay, so... That guy's dead. Now who do we want to kill, guys? I think we're going to just wait, though. We'll use our big shot. We'll use our big focus. Hit on Luke here in just a minute. Maybe we'll just use it on shock, just, to, just for fun. Hmm... Uh, let's use it on Luke, see if we can just kill him. Oh, where's Luke? There he goes. There he goes, just kicking off. Um, Let's see, she's going to hit me back, except she's got daze. So let's, let's kill her real quick. Let's do an AoE for fun. And call it good, 60. Nice. So silly, guys. Silliest thing I've done all day. Ooh, we killed two more teams, guys. Look at that. For one shots. All right. I didn't. I haven't been keeping track of his score. I guess I can look here. I got Prime bought up. He got a 53 and a 57 on those. Oh, and he just killed this team. Okay, so he's one shot me. He wasn't super efficient on those two, but efficient enough. We can't drop any more, guys. So what, a 53 on me? Or hold on, hold on. 73... That is a 63 he got on me. Never mind. Damn it all. <laughs> Alright, well. Well, that means he soloed it with one of his GLs. Okay, so we can, we can do this. Armor will probably die, but Armor will at least get a turn and buff Emperor a little bit. Look at that. Mothma used to be 62%, now it's 50%. It seems like something changed. Alright, so we're going to link Wedge. And we could link Biston. I guess, I mean, Biggs does do damage, but he doesn't do as much. And Biston's going to be taking all the turns because of Frenzy. So, uh, we'll give this we'll give this to you, because we don't know if Armor will ever get another turn. And now, I guess we just... Uh, Hit the Pathfinder here. Alright, guys. Have at you. If we, if we must. Look at that. Already in our ultimate. Armor, you may survive yet. You also may not. There's no promises here, Armor. Honestly, like you... I'm okay if you die, is what I'm saying. I was like, whoa, we didn't kill two people, but we, we did. They just have their um they just have their extra person here. Debro's using POW instead of what, K2? Interesting. Oh, we actually have to just hit them now. Damn it all. Please don't kill armor. I was joking, armor. I don't want you to die. I don't actually want you to die. I mean, I, I accept it if you do. I accept your sacrifice, but I would prefer if you didn't, I, I suppose. Wait. Oh, he revived. Hmm. 
Tell you what, I want one more turn potentially to let's see. Oh, this is cool. Let's just give one more buff to Sith Eternal, just just for fun. All right. Okay. Now, so we'll get sixty here, I think. Sweet. <laughs> we just traded banners. If, if I had just won with, uh, <laughs> if I had just won with armor still alive, uh, would have been sixty as well. <laughs> They beat my other fleet as well. Did they one shot? Oh, okay. Another another point in our favor, guys. Perfect. Guys, what if we used Commander Luke? I haven't used Commander Luke team on Geos for a really long time. Seems like that would be fun. M maybe it's a bad idea, but I don't know. We have the wiggle room now, so I'm just gonna just push push for it. All right. So we want Chupio here first, so we can get guard on Commander Luke. And this this will be a little bit different than the past ones that I've used, but we should still be good. And we can use a Vader Watt team on those Night Sisters instead. So the first thing for this counter, guys, uh, you want to do a basic. You want to stun their Brute Alpha here. Now we'll switch stances and call Chewie to assist, so he gets tenacity down. And now. We get, oh, well, we're supposed to get buff immunity, so that's that's not going to plan at all. Um, let's see here. Okay, we'll just do, we'll do a half step here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so he can't regain buffs, so Chewie can now dispel. Even if this guy hits me back, he can't regain it. So now, let's see, Chupio's gonna go... Yikes. And then... This won't kill anyone if we do the taunt here. Let's see. If we do this... They're going to start getting turns, aren't they, guys? I do not like it. I think we might... Gosh. Dear Lord. Because this doesn't do anything, does it? I guess if we do this, we'll actually gain some turn meter, though. So let's do that. Yeah, okay. So they took turns. Don't like it at all. Even slightly. And they're hitting only Chewy. Oh, man. Okay, well, I thought this was going to be an easy one, guys. I genuinely thought this was going to be an easy one, but I have a lot of hit points, too. Damn it all. Well, we just, Han just randomly killed one of them. <laughs> guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, well, so much for wiggle room. I thought, I, th I genuinely thought this was just going to be a fun one. Let's see if we just gun them all down now. <laughs> okay, all right, well. <laughs> There's spare, a-holes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hopefully I'm fast enough. I didn't check how fast his Asajj was going to be. Might be fast enough. Though Asajj will not actually gain as much speed to start with. Because, first off, we're going to do this. She'll only gain plus 30 speed. Because I also didn't have an extra player here. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, okay, so we can Fracture for now, put this on shore, and now, oh, targeted the wrong person here, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, I don't think we're going to be able to kill Daka fast enough anyways, let's see. Talia will be kind of irrelevant, actually. Let's just kill her right away. I've tried to ability block, didn't quite work. No ability block. Actually, that's fine, because I want Daka to try to revive Tal's in there. This might just kill Zombie, though. Yep. Um. Okay, if we do a Saber Toss right now and kill someone, then we get another turn. So I'm in favor of that. We didn't quite kill her, though. Oh, she killed over. Both of them did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Random. Get all the stacks here. Yeah, we totally could have done this without Short Trooper, but but that's okay. We'll we'll have Talia die of sadness here, and Zombie die of sadness that she couldn't actually contribute. There will be no witch burning this evening. I know trouble. I, I'm sorry. Like I'm guessing Jedi Luke. I bet Luke on his own beats this actually. I think Jedi General Skywalker can just get stun locked and die. Um, I think Luke probably just beats him.
Like, I think this is enough, because then we have Jedi Revan going first. He can... He can pass the turn to Luke, and then Luke stuns everyone, and we win, basically. I think this is enough, guys. I think we can get a 62 here. Probably should have used Jedi Knight Luke lead, but or Jedi Revan lead. But what's a man to do? We'll hand the turn to Luke. He can stun all of them. Revan gets a turn now. I guess we just mark Bosk for fun. He's really the only threat here. Um, sure, let's just go again here. There we go. Okay, Boba's about to take a turn, so let's end that nonsense as quickly as we can. There we go. Probably overkill. My guess is that Jedi Knight Luke on his own could have killed that team. But like why why should we take the chance? We've already we've already been messing around enough. If we can nuke one of their X-wings before Houndstooth gets a turn, that would be super nice. Whoa. That was a hell of a hit, Poe Dameron. Piston's gonna hide for a little bit. Hmm, you know what? Let's get Breach off so that we can just take this taunt away as quick as we can. Oh, we missed the one I wanted to hit with. It's okay. But really, I want to hit all of them, but... Look at that Cad Bane coming in. Um, let's see. Kind of just want to bring this guy in here. That way we can get rid of Poe. No, because then we just have to hit this guy for a while. Let's let's do this. Let's do this and. Okay, turn meter wise, I think Falcon's a little further ahead than Poe. Mm, but if we do this, we're guaranteed a kill, and then we'll go first for sure after that. So yeah, we'll we'll do that. Um, should have called Biston to assist there actually, or maybe I did. I, I intended to. I've recently learned that trick. It's a pretty neat trick actually. Uh, let's see. Get rid of this so we can stop the taunt here. Alright, and now we just have to wrestle this dude to the ground. Let's do the wiggle here. I don't know if they hit the falcon before, but I'd like to get those banners back if possible. Uh, once again, we'll do this just for stealth. We'll get rid of that protection. Nice, we did get an assist as well. 65 is something I will never ever throw away for ships. Let's see what we've got, folks. All right, so they're gonna hit one ship. They hit my vulture that it'll that he always dies first, anyways. Gosh, they do have a lot of turn meter to start with, don't they? Um. Hmm. Yeah, we can do this, I guess. I don't know. Guess they're getting some buzzies out there. Uh, let's just see how quick we can take this dude out. Nice. He's the power of the team, so he's gone. He gone! Sunfax stunned my already marked guy here when he came in. Interesting. We'll get this on Sunfax because he's the only one missing them. And for now, I'm actually good with calling zero reinforcements because I don't want an AoE to come in and mess things up. I think this will just kill him, so we're not going to waste the stun. The stun may go unused, but I'm good with that. Oh good, the FU AoE. Good for you, Finalizer. You needed it. That was your last act of defiance. Does it ever feel unsatisfying to you guys when you can't just kill the capital ship as well? Hmm. 
<clears throat> All right, guys, we got the clear. Huge shout out to my opponent for making it fun and for placing General Grievous so we could hurt ourselves on that team once again. Dear God. <sighs> General Grievous stealing all my banners, folks. It's not uh, it's not okay. What do we got? Hey, look at that. We gained offense up without trying. We're fancy. Cool. Shall we? Guys, thank you all so much for watching. And remember that in all things, Zareth prevails.